Sky meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn from the UF Weather Center, and it has been a very active Monday. Our three big things talking about Tropical Storm Emily formed and made landfall all in the span of about three hours, and that was on the Anna Maria Island. Rainsville, well, we set two new rain records here in Gainesville, and of course, you can key it up on the latest Tropical Storm activity and your forecast by going to the Florida Storm apps and downloading it, and it is a free app. Now, our forecast is going to have been pretty much stormy across the southern and central portions of the state. We are looking at uh, Tropical Storm Emily as it continues to move inland tonight and then finally starts to exit out of the state very late tonight, early on on Tuesday morning. As it does, we do expect it to briefly weaken to a tropical depression and then continue its path up into the northeast into the Atlantic. So we're still watching for some of the impacts there, expecting it to make landfall on the other side of the state or exiting the state uh, somewhere around Daytona Beach and just past Orlando. Now looking at rainfall totals in Orlando, 6.6 .6 inches, 8.5 in Tampa, 8.6 in Sarasota, and 7.2 in Fort Myers. Even Naples expecting over 8 inches and 3 inches in Melbourne. So a lot of wet weather associated with this tropical storm. And as you're watching it, a briefly weakening as it goes across land because you don't have the water heating it up and helping to fuel it. And also the land sort of helps tear it apart a little bit. Then it tracks back into the Atlantic, re-strengthens, and Tropical Storm Emily then continues to parallel on the coastline. When it made landfall, wind speeds were at 45 miles per hour. The pressure had dropped one more millibar to 1,005, and that motion east at 9 until it takes a more northeasterly turn later tonight. And as we can see, this frontal boundary is still pretty much stalling out here, and then we'll see it slowly then starting to lift north as we head into Wednesday and then Thursday before it finally dissipates in by Friday, but we have another front approaching into the weekend on Sunday, and that'll increase our rain chances by then. Otherwise, uh, your forecast, the hour by hour, 88 degrees at 4 o'clock. We're looking at just an isolated shower possibly early this evening, late this afternoon. Otherwise, our temperature is dropping down into the middle 70s, but it's been a wet one this weekend. We officially broke the record and now have the rainiest July on record at 16.70 inches, and it's also the rainiest summer. Summer season is three months, but it only took us two months to do it, and we have 33.56 inches, which now goes into the record book. Here's your extended forecast. Temperatures will be back into the 90s starting on Friday once we get back to more normal sea breeze activity, and that front passes us lifting on up to the north, but the next front arriving on Sunday.